great Thursday morning, everybody. This is the Iceman on the Iceman V2013 channel, aka the Jeffrey Rose YouTube channel, on this Thursday. And I watched some videos last night uh, after I got home from uh, my sister's house. I spent the day there. Spent the day with Matt. We watched some WWE stuff. We watched some That 70s shows. Um, had a good time. Had a spaghetti dinner. Got home about 8.15 last night and started watching videos. And my buddy, Boston Fan 79 v one did a video about, uh, about Sean's view, saying he was the number one uh, channel in the YWC, IWC. And um, Chris did a great video without creating drama, stating his opinion, um, and it was a good job was a very good job like Chris said he goes he doesn't hate Sean's view they're not exactly really good friends on YouTube like Chris is like with myself Simon Nichol David Revere Thrash Maniac 99 and a, and, a, and a whole slew of others but um he did it in a classy way and uh you know he did he did mention that you know possibly you know Sean buys his subs or he does sub for subs he talked about killer demons saying that he sort of got out of line, uh, mentioning Sean's girlfriend, which I totally agree with. You know, why bring in somebody that has nothing to do with the issue whatsoever and sort of demean them? I totally agree with Chris. It was a class act video. Heel Stevens, another one, did a superb video last night um, mentioning about Sean's view, saying he's number one. Uh, Heel Stevens, of course, is saying that Bill Apter is the guy. And how can you not really say Bill Apter isn't the guy? I mean, when it all comes down to it, he's been around wrestling for a lot longer than I have. He's a bit older than I am. Um, and Bill Apter has done so many things in the world of professional wrestling to you know, really bring us wrestling news, wrestling rumors, and whatnot. But to get back to Heel Stevens' video, He's basically stating that, you know, he mentioned myself, Boston fan, Simon Nichol, and a, and a, and a slew full, full of others, you know, that we're all out here, out here doing the same thing. And just because Sean has 44,500 something subscribers, does that make him better than the rest of us? And, you know, I sort of like that statement because in reality is true. Um, we all are here for the same thing. We all here to try to do, uh, wrestling news, uh, do recaps of shows and whatnot. And we all have our own way of doing it. And that's what Heel Stevens had pointed out. And the thing of it was you go to Heel Stevens page, watch this video, look at the comments by Sean's view entertainment. He made a comment that um, Heel Stevens friended Sean's girlfriend on Facebook. And then he goes, oh, now the death threats are coming. Three, two, one, boom. I mean, where this is, this is the issue, really. You know, you're a guy on Facebook. You, you, you friend invite somebody. You get accepted or whatnot. Why do you got to make a mountain out of a molehill? And like I said, I'm not good friends with Sean's View Entertainment by no means at all. I like watching some of his videos. I watch a lot of them. I don't watch them all. Um, do I think he's a good reporter of wrestling news and rumors? Yes, I do. But there's a lot of other guys out there that are good as well. Uh, one being Andre Corbell, Corbeil, I should say. Bill After, Big Ray, Heel Stevens. Boston fan 79 v1 um, everybody everybody that makes an effort here on YouTube to talk about the world of professional wrestling is giving us a piece of something and that's what it's all about um, are we all as big as Sean's view no I mean does he buy subs I don't know I personally don't care does he do sub for subs I don't know I really don't care. I mean, this is Sean's life. If you guys watch him, know know about him, 
This is his job, is YouTube. Uh, I, for one, have a real job. Um, I have to work to, you know, to get by and whatnot, just like most other people do. Um, and I'll tell you, if I was able, if I was able to sit home day in and day out, night in and night out, and only have YouTube for a job, I'd go crazy because I need to feel that what I buy and what I purchase or whatever, that I earned it myself. YouTube is a hobby for me. Uh, it's getting to the point where it's, it's just gotten to the point where you wonder why you're doing it. And, but watch Boston Fan 79 V1's video um, regarding Sean's view, as well as Heel Stevens. And, you know, I'm not going to say one's better than the other, but Heel Stevens really got to the point of it all. And what he basically did was defend all of us here in the YWC. Um, basically saying, we're all here. We all do the same things. Maybe we do it in different ways. Um, but we are here doing it, you know, for all of you to watch. And um, I loved it. I, I When I got home last night, I loved watching these videos. It made my night because it gave me the inspiration to, you know, continue on. A little longer you know what I'm saying because these guys when they make their videos they're passionate about what they're saying they're not just peddling up video after video after video and say well I need to put a video up today because I haven't done one in a long time or whatever they think about what they're gonna do they think about the topic they know what they're gonna say and for my money Hill Stevens and Boston fan Last night, your guys' videos were the top two videos on YouTube as far as wrestling community goes that I was able to watch. And I really enjoyed them. I appreciate them. Um, and it's just, you know, it's sort of funny too because you get caught into that trap sometimes. Whereas, you know, and I thought about this before. I even talked about it before that. Like I said, I'm not an enemy of Sean. I'm not a lover of Sean's view entertainment. I like watching his videos. Not all of them. I pick and choose which ones I want to watch due to the topic. But sometimes you get caught up in the reality that he makes a video to get us riled up. And when it's been a while back since he's done it, we sort of fall into that trap and we feed into it. And this is where he builds his channel up even bigger. But, you know, that's a smart, smart way of thinking. So you can't say the man doesn't have any intelligence because he knows what he's doing. And, you know, maybe we are the suckers or, you know, we're just feeding into it. But nevertheless, I mean, we're all here for the same thing. You know, wrestling is my passion. Um, I love watching a lot of wrestling videos. I love watching Andre Corbeil and Big Ray. I love watching Heel Stevens, Boston Fan, Gemini, David, Rev David Rivera. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Josh Inside Wrestling Truth puts up a lot of good videos about independent wrestlers. Uh, shows that he's go, gone to, interviews that he's had. Um, Aaron loves WWE and TNA. Uh, you know, it's there's a list that just goes on and on and on. So, um, if you guys get a chance, check out Boston Fan 79 V1's video about Sean's View Entertainment, his response, and Heel Stevens. I mean, you guys will not be disappointed. These videos were great. And also, don't forget, ever, you've got to check out the Can-Am Wrestling Show with Andre Corbeil and Big Ray, or just check out both their channels on their own. You won't be disappointed as well. 
Andre did a great, great review of TNA Impact Wrestling last night, which indeed was a great show. So this is the Iceman here on the Iceman V2013 YouTube channel. Check out Wrestling News Talk on Facebook. Check out the Iceman's Wrestling Extreme on Facebook. Check out In the Hot Seat with David Rivera on Facebook. You can't go wrong. You can't miss. Peace out, everybody. We'll see you next time. This is the one and only, the opinionated Iceman.